Hey, what's up guys? Too Tall Toby here, and welcome to another episode of Power Moves with Too Tall Toby. And today what I'm gonna show you is how to pull off this move so that you can save time when you're working in drawings. Ow. So we're gonna demonstrate this functionality using a pretty simple part here. It's just a rectangle that I extruded into a boss extrude, just one feature. And now what I'm going to do is add a fillet to this model. And the way I'm gonna add this fillet is I'm gonna start by clicking on this right edge of the model first, and then clicking on this left edge of the model over here. And so I hit the green check mark, and then I go to the feature tree and double click on that fillet. And we can see that the feature dimension, the radius 10, has been applied to the first edge that I selected when I was creating that fillet feature. Uh, for example here, if I control Z to undo, and then I go back to the fillet command, and this time I choose the left edge first, and then I come over here and I choose the right edge of the model. When I hit the green check mark and then go to double click on that feature in the tree, we can see that now the feature dimension has been applied to the left edge, because that was the first edge that I selected when I was creating that feature. So this is going to have downstream ramifications when you go to a command like file make drawing from part and you choose to insert the model items from the uh, actual model to add the feature dimensions into the drawing. So I'm going to say insert model items and we can see that the feature dimension for the fillet has been applied you know, to the same edge just like we saw in the model. Well, that's really not where I want that feature to mention. I want it over here on this corner. And so in the past, what I thought we had to do was delete that feature and then maybe go in and add a new feature dimension or a new, really it's a reference dimension over here. You'll notice if I double click on this dimension, nothing happens because this is a reference dimension. Well, what I can do instead, let me just undo here, is I can take this driving feature dimension, you know, and that's important because when it's a driving feature dimension, it means that we can change the value here in the drawing and we can actually reattach this over to the desired edge. And the way that we do that is we click on the dimension and then we're gonna look for this region here of the dimension, right at the edge of the arrow, there's a little square that's called the dimension grip. And when you click on the dimension, you'll see that the cursor feedback looks like a dimension icon. But as you move down towards the tip of that arrow, it changes to kind of like a little white square. That's how you know you're in the right spot. And so then what you're going to do is you're going to left mouse button and drag, and you'll see that it says no parking, no parking, no parking. And then you can drop that dimension over here on a different edge of the same feature. And there we go. Now we've got a nice driving dimension that we can change from the drawing and update the model, but that is located in the desired spot. So I think that's a great way to save time in drawings, and it's definitely a power move that I personally use quite a bit. If you enjoyed that one and you want to see some more great ways to save some time in drawings, be sure to check out this video as well. And of course, as always, be sure to like, subscribe, uh, maybe add a comment, and share this video with somebody else if you know somebody who's trying to learn some good time-saving tricks in the wonderful world of SOLIDWORKS. Thanks a lot, everybody, and I'll see you in the next one.